This is a recipe for homemade wonton soup from scratch, including how to make the wonton wrappers at home. Of course, you'd rather buy the store-bought wonton wrappers, much more convenient. But during these pandemic times, when your favorite grocery store doesn't have them, or your favorite Chinese restaurant has closed, you learn how to make your own wontons, especially when you need this comfort food during these trying times. So we're going to put one cup of uh, all-purpose flour into a bowl. Then I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. So just give that a good mix right there. Give that a good mix. I'm going to put one egg into a bowl. So just put that into the uh, flour just like that. Just mix it in. So the egg is uh, fairly wet, so you don't need to put too much more liquid in there. So you put about a quarter cup of uh, water. So just gradually add a quarter cup of water in there. So I like to use chopsticks. Chopsticks are good for mixing dough. So now you see the dough is looking slightly shaggy. So just add a little more water there. So just uh, use your hand to uh, mix the dough. So gradually the uh, loose, loose flour will be incorporated into the dough ball. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of uh, tapioca starch. So this will give uh, the dough more spring. So it'll be a little more chewy. So it's been about a little over three minutes. So just form that into a ball. So we're just gonna cover the dough like this. Put the dough in the fridge for at least one day. If you want to leave the dough in the fridge for two or three days, just make sure you knead the dough at least once a day. Keep the dough covered when you put it in the fridge. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. Spread a cloth on your counter, then put the cutting board on top of it. This keeps the cutting board from sliding. Now you're ready to roll out your dough. Cut the dough in half. So this dough has uh, been in the fridge for three days. So it's not very sticky anymore. So Roll the dough into one big sheet. Roll the dough from the middle to the outside. Add a little flour if the dough becomes sticky. Turn the sheet over a few times as you continue to roll the dough. When the dough is thin enough, you start cutting the wonton wrappers into squares. So you can make about, maybe about 30 wonton using this technique. You can use a rolling pin to further stretch your wonton wrapper. <laughs> the next step is to make the filling for the wontons. So just give the chives a good wash and then uh, cut off the ends if the uh, chives are old. So after you wash the chives, cut, cut the chives into small pieces. We have about one cup of chives here and 12 ounces of ground pork. So just put the uh, pork and the chives into one big bowl. Add a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of chicken base, which is also known as chicken soup base. So put a teaspoon of brown sugar. 
put half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Add one egg, so the egg will help bind the uh, ingredients. Add the uh, chives in there. There's about a cup of chives right here. So mix the ground pork with the chives. boiling so we've got some pork bones and chicken bones add a couple pieces of ginger and boil the uh, soup stock for about an hour just cover the lid and uh, boil at uh, low to medium heat the soup has been going for about an hour so just add about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of salt Add a few drops of sesame oil for nice fragrance and taste. So there you have it, homemade wonton soup, made from scratch. Enjoy. <laughs> I always catch my mom eating all the time. <laughs> huh? Hot. So we made the homemade wonton skins. So the skins are. Didn't didn't store mine anymore. Huh? Well, my mom says it's better than store bought. Thanks for checking out my video and please give me a thumbs up and be sure to check out some of my other videos on this channel and please subscribe. If you get a chance, check out my other channel, the award winning Chinese cooking channel.